Tim, hey, I'm following up with you about how businesses can use retrieval, augmented generation, brag to own their AI. And as I share my screen with you, I'm showing you what we talked about, the Lucid chart. I put this together by hand and it's taking place of my doing it on a whiteboard because it presents better when it's presented better in the sense of a blog post. Now, I'm going to put it on a whiteboard because there's something about it coming alive that lets the story be told. So when I do this, follow along and it's going to be clear what I mean yet unclear what is necessary to some other people in order to make it happen. So as I speak, I'm also putting together a whiteboard that'll give you and anybody listening an idea of what's involved in making it happen. There's a few core players, basically, that we in 2023 know to be true. We can give a question to an LLM and we can get an answer. And there's a few more players involved when RAG is involved. Those few extra players are commercially available in many cases and work with existing infrastructure of a business in really all cases. It takes some wiring up in the sense of repeating and using skills that engineers on a team already have. It's well-worn territory in a sense that those tools are a bit more direct to AI. It's worth understanding and taking a step back like this to look at. So let's have a look. These are all the players here. The LLM, which is the chat GPT or similar embeddings are a part of the process. Business databases is anything that's from a Salesforce to PDFs that might be scanned and everything in between. It's really a loose term on databases. It means data and it's a lot more flexible than just databases. So the final one, which is newer in the day-to-day -day world being a vector database is a way for the other stuff to be represented in a way that's retrievable for a LLM. The other stuff being the prompt, the question, the business databases, and all of that hard to reach data that lay in between. What the conversation we had was, hey, what happens when there's some acronym in a corporation that was brought into the existence of the corporation's lexicon three and four years ago, and somebody new wants to learn what it means? How do you do that? Well, there's a lot of people you can ask in a big organization, or you could use retrieval augmented generation and get their faster. If only it were applied at your business, it would be possible to take all of the business knowledge from all of the databases generated over the lifetime of the business, which in some cases, maybe decades worth of very domain specific knowledge that's sitting somewhere difficult to retrieve. So what we describe here may not be the best form for data ingest. It may not be the place to create the data, but it might be the better place and better method that's only been possible in 2023 to access the data. 
So the diagrams now change from the beginning where we take a question, rather than going directly to the LLM, we direct it to an embeddings. And then we also combine that with business databases. That gives us a query to then send to the vector database. And what the vector database outputs represented by these squiggly lines is additional context. It's plain English words that relate to the business data that have been queried so that out of all of the business data, only the stuff that's relevant to the question being asked is returned. And when that's there, along with the question, it's possible to send that whole blob to an LLM and get a better answer. So we go question, route that to the embeddings, which also has all of the business databases knowledge. Then that generates a machine readable query that the vector database uses to return all the related data to the question that the business knows about. And then that's sent to the LLM to get a better answer. Pretty cool. So that's where we end here. Wish you the best in what you're working on and look for the image that I made in Lucidchart to have as a gift <laughs> it's for posterity. And I wish that you have some good understanding now that you didn't have before. Take care. You know what, one more thing. You mentioned the new website, www.syr.ai. Own your AI or your own A or your AI will own you. It's a tagline for what I believe in, in the sense of uh, reality that you and I face as New Yorkers that are living in upstate. If we don't know it, you and I as engineers, how is anybody in the businesses that we work for going to make usage of it except by relying on, if you go back to the screen share a minute, pardon me, what I call the Silicon Valley schmucks, and I mean it, I don't really have a lot of respect for Silicon Valley right now for their having sold their data out the back door over the last bunch of decades, maybe nice smiles while nefarious sort of schemes that go on outside of the public eye. I'm angry with them, but for you and I, now that the knowledge is there, I think it's worth us applying it for the people that are committed to us and that we are committed to. Now that is all. Take care.